parcel I hadn't opened yet. Are you fucking Let's serious? See. A ten foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. It's even unlocked special delivery. An unremarkable death. I'd rather leave. <laughs> Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and today we'll be playing the Charnel House Trilogy. Uh, the Charnel House originally it came out uh, as one part, and then they just released the Trilogy, which is three little games in one. So we're going to go through these. Um, I'm assuming these are the three games, Inhale, uh, Spulcher, and then Exhale, or Sepulchre, sorry. So we'll do Inhale first, I guess. This is a puppies, uh, this is a point and click, so yeah. I'm starting to get really into point and click games. I think they're, they're, they're pretty good. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because whoever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test Pilot. I turned down the volume because I didn't know that there would be talking in this. <clears throat> um, I might turn up my volume just a bit. We'll see how it is in game. Uh, okay. Can I, can I do anything? Oh, shit. Oh, I, what? I, oh my gosh, she said something. I, didn't... I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. Okay, uh, let me see if I can do this. Here we go. Oh, resume. Let's see. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. All right, that's fine. Let's look at the pot plant. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. How about now? Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. So you want to give up smoking, a self-help book by I. Burnett. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. Okay, so we gotta kinda remember that there's a uh, the potted plant over there. Uh, let's check Playing out some a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Hmm, why can't you concentrate? Uh, radio. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Okay. Uh, that's cool. You have a raven phone. Check out the cabinet. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Hmm. Strange. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Uh, looks like she broke up with Gavin. Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler, for some reason. Hmm. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. That's a pretty good assumption, I would think. Uh, let's look at the phone. It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. There are messages on the answering machine. Uh, I like this phone. Let's let's interact with this. <laughs> Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. <laughs> message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29pm. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. Park the other day I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Nobody else Call me on my cell when you get this. Really Goodbye. Love you. 
Bye. And the final message. Sounds like mom. I didn't call mom because I knew you would be there. And I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Okay, so I'm a... Oh, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Right. Stop interrupting me. That's step one. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience. For company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. You are constantly being watched, and I'm judging you. Okay, um, oh, cool, that's how we get to inventory. Um, okay, so we can assume that her father is probably terminally ill in a hospital, possibly in a coma, definitely unconscious, uh, because he can't tell her that he appreciates that she comes by. Um, mom is probably overbearing and stuffy, so she doesn't want anything to do with that. She probably also doesn't want to talk about her boyfriend Gavin and her just broke up see look at this we've gone like four steps and we already learned her life sofa sure yeah I'll go to bed at seven in the evening that'd be suitably pathetic oh well, look at it then ah the sofa so many happy memories of sitting here doing fuck all I have nothing but love for this sofa wait no the other thing apathy it's a sofa actually it's a bed too Oh, nice. Uh, coffee table! My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. Uh, any smokes? Can you do anything with it? If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. Okay. Uh, she smokes. That's darn sure. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Okay, is it another self-help book? Why don't you go check that out? Ah, got it. <clears throat> a parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. She has lots of parcels. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, so she hides lots of parcels around her house. A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. Hmm. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Okay, great. Um, look at the desk. Oh, I didn't mean to use it. Oh, this is cool. Look at the note. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Well, why don't you try? Nah, I'm sure it's here for a reason. All right. Uh, tower. Can I turn you on? No? Probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. Hmm. Alright, uh, Sam! A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. No. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Uh, magazines! Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. Hmm. Check him out. I've already read it. Twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. I think you're a pretty rad chick. An unremarkable desktop lamp. I think it looks nice. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. Then fish it out. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Are you fucking Let's serious? See. A ten-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. It's even unlocked. Special delivery. An unremarkable death. I'd rather leave. <laughs> you are fucking smart ass girl. Keyboard. The E key sticks, and there's a cigarette burn on page up, but I can't bring myself to part with it. Mm, when you find a good keyboard. I don't know why, really. Yeah, when you find a good keyboard, it's hard to get rid of it. I should turn the PC on first. Oh, for fuck's sakes, turn it on. How do we turn it on? Power on. Good idea. There we go. Fantastic. Five minutes later. Oh my god. <laughs> she scribbled out. Nope, not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. All right, desktop wallpaper. I'm not changing it. I kind of like bitter reminders. Okay. Well, what is it's it? It's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there, too. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. 
She wears the same shirt. Fantastic. A photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? It sounds like it was a reluctant breakup. Like, she busted him cheating, right? And she still likes him, but she's like, I can't trust you, so you're out of my life. That's what it kind of seems like to me. Mouse. A mouse. I really want a gaming one. Gavin always used to go on about the joy of basic, no-frills hardware. First thing tomorrow, I'm ordering a gaming mouse. That's a good purchase. In fact, I need to get me one. Mine died. Right. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, look. Drama, as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Hmm. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh, well. No time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course. I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? It's on the sticky. I, I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. It's it's on the sticky, right here. Ah, here it is, I think. All right, so let's uh let's let's use it. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. The writer walk the writer what? The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Okay. Uh so fuck. All right. Uh let's let's look here. Time to read. Now uh, that means we're going to have to find a book that has something to do with this. Let's do this then. All right. Ugh. Book, 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 book. All right, so love inscribes a final shore or something. It's not going to be Sanctum. It's probably not going to be Mirror. Uh, the Churnal House. It could be this one. I should double check the title. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Okay, what's this one? Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pestle. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Okay, that's not it. Death, The High Cost of Living. Just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Nice. Uh, Anne Rand. Atlas Shrugged. I don't think so. Uh... Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Fifty Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. This has got to be it. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. This is definitely it, but we're going to check the other ones. I've never been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. They never forget. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read it. In fact, everyone should. Yeah. Yeah. The Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. Sophia's inhaler. Might as well bin this tomorrow. Can I pick it up? Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. It's got to be the coastal book. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Okay, can I? Let me see this. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Yeah, sanctum. I'm saving it for a special occasion. All right. Uh, this one? Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. That's true. Atlas Shrugged? By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. Hmm. All right. How about this one? I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. Uh, space. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. <laughs> oh, Cassell. 
You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. Okay. Uh, then that's, uh, that's our cue. So let's... Can I... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Can I, can I move with... Okay, I can't move with Wasp, but I can move with this. Uh, okay, uh, let's go. All right, so here we go. I'll use it. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. Train tickets? The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. Cool. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Go find this asshole. No, oh, it's raining. Oh, and the power's flickering. Now it's storming. And this is going to be fun making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. Don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Hmm. Let's uh let's continue exploring the house. Yeah, sure. If you insist, stomach. I'll grab some food. Thunder, lightning, the works. Why do you have a so door to your kitchen? That's very strange, isn't it? I don't know anybody who has a door to their kitchen. Maybe a doorway, but not a door. Three pickled onions and a slice of bread. What a fucking fantastic dinner. Alex, do the shopping from time to time, yeah? The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook. I just usually can't be bothered. Okay, yeah, that's me. All right, so obviously we're going to find one of those, but let's check the door. A portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. Sure. I could use a shower. All right, go take a shower. Let's see your sexy pixelated body. Oh, wait, no, never mind. You're just going <clears> to <throat> cut scene 10 minutes later. It's, it's no big deal. I showed all the nudity in South Park, goddammit. Uh, coat. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since since well the night he left i guess my birthday classy guy oh i do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up though wow door the door to my apartment sure i'm going to stand around staring at it all evening the peephole doesn't even work seriously i've got no desire to go out all right then let's uh let's look for a dvd oh yeah but it's fucking locked with a stupid fucking key hmm can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Okay, so I gotta jimmy it open with something. Uh, let's check the sofa. Sure, yeah, I'll. Okay, how about. If I was drinking, but I. My DVD collection. I think if. I think I can jimmy it open with. All right, so I gotta find something. I don't have this fucking post-it note. That's not gonna work. Uh, phone. Jimmy. Oh, oh, oh. Do the do the thing. Let's check the bookcase. Here, get get this. Sophia's inhaler. Now let's. Uh, okay. My colleagues keep telling me I need a vacation, and I say to them, guys, you get the same pay packet as me. Do you me? Do you think I can afford a vacation? I think they're just trying to get rid of me. I'm joking, of course, to all the wonderful people at BC304 FM. You're my family now. Wow, what a chilling thought. Okay, I need to jimmy it open with something. Is there anything on the computer desk? Uh, Sam, help me! You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. Yes! This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Possibly. Most of the best, like, plans in the world are just 
fucking stupid. Alright, so use the dog model and Jimmy open that cabinet. I'm liking this. I like the story so far. Here goes. I like that she's cute. It fits perfectly. But she's not like hot, you know what I mean? Oh shit. The tail's just Oh, Sam. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. I <laughs> just kicked it. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's check it out. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. Mm. It's broken. It's good. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. All right. Great. One hour later. It's a telephono. Hey girl, get up. Oh. Huh? Shit. I fell asleep. Huh. On eight. Phone's ringing. Let me just get your ass up and go get the phone. Oh, it's on autopilot. Okay, great. I'm like wiggling the mouse like crazy. Like, go get it. Yeah, go, go get it. Who could be calling at this hour? Is it mom? It's probably mom. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. What? That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. Oh! The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. Okay, well, what's going on? Oh shit, the phone. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? <sighs> this is gonna be bad. Don't pick up a phone a second time, people. Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. It's a British guy. I... Thank you. What? I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. The inhaler! No, 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 get the inhaler. Get the inhaler. You can't breathe. Get the inhaler. Get it. What the fuck? Achievement unlock the breathing method. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. <gasps> Her dad passed oh, away. God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be all right. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No. Yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly... Honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... It's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. He's either an older neighbor friend, sort of like a father figure, or he really wants to get in there. <clears throat> Probably really wants to get in there. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call mom tomorrow, too. Now, I don't know exactly why she's running away, but I have, however, um, just spontaneously gotten on a plane and just left. Um, in fact, I went to go visit Baby Girl when she was up in Missouri, and I didn't 
really bother to tell anybody. Outside, this is my cousin. the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon.